Okay, so today I'm on a couch, which is pretty different. So I'm talking about gaming peripherals for the living room if you are a PC gamer. Let's go. Okay guys, so let's pretend for a moment that we just bought a brand new gaming PC for Christmas. Now the one over there is not brand new by any means, but it is my living room gaming PC, and it is in fact hooked up to a television. So what do we need to get our gaming PC working as a console killer? And by the way, I do have a console. It's a PS4, and I virtually never use it, but I do have one just in case. There are exclusives that I do from time to time want to play. So the peripherals we're going to need can be broken down into two subsections. We're going to need a keyboard or control device, and I have a few options here. And we're then going to need a gamepad of some sort to replace the uh, consoles and the gamepads that come with them. So the keyboard that I recommend going with is something like this Logitech, which is roughly $30. And the reason for it is it's completely wireless, and it has a trackpad integrated. Uh, the one benefit to this over the other two is that this one also allows you to wake your device with the keyboard itself, which means when you, when you want to wake it up, you just don't have to get up and push a button on the computer, so you don't have to hit the, the power button. So, for example, hit that, and the computer springs to life, and up on our screen, we should then get a image, and we do. And if we put in our uh, pin, we are then on the desktop, and we have full control over um, over the gaming PC. So that is one great option. Um, if you don't mind hitting the power button, these other two options are a little bit more compact. Over here we have the regular TV controller, uh, for size comparison's sake. Um, and both of these two options are backlit keyboards. And both of them have a trackpad integrated with them. And that's kind of nice. Um, if this is sort of a home theater PC type setup, maybe this is more your speed. Um, the top one has a USB receiver just like the Logitech keyboard. So it does not require Bluetooth. Um, and the nice thing about this one is that it does have an internal battery that you charge with a micro USB. And also inside the battery door, which you can remove the battery if you want to replace it over time you can also store the USB receiver which is where mine is stored right now so that's one option there the other option is this one this is a Bluetooth um, keyboard it also has an internal battery that is non removable and is also charged with micro USB uh, both of these two options were probably about $20 um, links for a lot of this stuff will be in the description below as well um, but this is also another good uh, keyboard replacement option for a living room setting. Uh, the third thing that you may need, or rather the second thing beyond a keyboard, is a Bluetooth receiver. I highly recommend just picking one up. I got this in a four pack for $20. So I got four of these for $20. Um, they're very, very cheap USB um, Bluetooth dongles in case your computer doesn't have one already. And you can just plop them on the front panel and they're good to go okay so next options are the game pads and for pc game pads are a lot more um a lot more variety than with consoles so over here i have a usb snes controller and this would be for somebody that maybe likes a lot of retro gaming maybe does a lot of emulation this would be a really good option for you maybe you're more of a rts type player in which case I would highly recommend the Steam Controller uh, because it has the touch pads. It sort of allows you to play genres of games that aren't really usually accessible to normal game pads, such as real-time strategy games. So if you are a big RTS player but you still want to play on the couch, this is sort of your ticket to do that. Also, it has a lot of great customization, and you can play regular games. It does sort of take a little bit of getting used to, but that is a great option. If you're more of a traditional gamer and you play modern AAA titles, I have two options for you. The Xbox One controller, which I have the older model, which does not have Bluetooth. And if you do not have the Bluetooth model, which is the newer one, then you may also want to pick up a wireless receiver. You can also just use a micro USB cable to your computer and use it as a wired controller. 
I prefer to go ahead and use the wireless dongle, um, but you can pick that up separately on Amazon. The other option is you have PS4 controllers, and these have Bluetooth from the get-go, and Steam recently now supports PS4 controllers within Steam software. So if you have a Steam game, such as maybe Skyrim, you can just plug and play using this, and you don't actually need the third-party driver support that sort of tricks your computer into thinking that the PS4 controller is actually an Xbox One controller or an Xbox 360 controller. Um, but you can still use that if you use emulation. You can still get, I think it's called something DS4 for Windows or something like that. Um, it's a third-party uh, tiny piece of software that allows you to control your PS4 controller and use it for other programs outside of Steam. But if you do all your gaming, or virtually all your gaming in Steam, then even without that, the PS4 controller is a great option now. So these are the essentials that you need to go from gaming at a desk to gaming at a couch in the living room. And you can then turn your gaming PC setup into a true console killer. And that's really all you have to do. You need a keyboard, you need a gamepad. That's basically it. Hopefully you like this type of content, and if you do, give me a like down below. Also, give me a subscribe down below. Um, I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware. I'll see you in the next video.